yes and i'm so glad you're here oh my goodness we have learned so much about god this week and how to stand strong for him do you remember what we learned on day one that's right that god's love helps us to get ready do it with me stand strong and how about day two yep you guessed it family and friends help us to stand strong and yesterday we learned about a really cool a super fast flying bird um, a falcon actually i shouldn't just call him a bird i should call him for what he is <laughs> kind of, i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> and who did we learn about on day three can you remember that's right that prayer helps us to stand strong and today we're going to learn about another super true awesome point and I'm so excited for this one. But first, let's get into a song. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, we're all in this together and we're having fun. We're here to spread the love of God to everyone. Gonna get a little crazy out yeah. Today's Bible point is a very important one. It's one of my favorites. And it's a very solid truth, also very simple, and it's that trusting God helps us to stand strong. God has given us his word, the Bible, which tells us how much he loves us, and we can trust him no matter what tough circumstances we face. We always can trust God. That's a super cool, super comforting truth, and we have a Bible buddy here to help us learn that. It's great to see you back at Kingdom Rock, where kids stand strong for God. If you want to know about standing strong, you should definitely listen to me, Sir Valiant. Me and my lion friends are awesome powerhouses with mighty muscles, an outrageous roar, and killer teeth. If you've got a lion on your side, you can trust that he can stand up to anything. There probably aren't many lions where you live. That's okay. You have someone even better on your side. Someone who's always with you. God. God is powerful. 
so powerful that he even conquered death. God is mightier than anything. And, best of all, he loves you. Sometimes, life doesn't make sense. Sometimes, things seem out of control. But in the Bible, the book of Isaiah, it says, Trust in the Lord always, for the Lord God is the eternal rock. So when things seem hard or confusing, remember that trusting God helps us stand strong. Our God is strong and mighty, like a lion. So that's why Sir Valley was here to show us that trusting God, no matter what, helps us to stand strong. Let's get into another song. So before we begin our day four at VBS, let's pray together. Dear Lord God, thank you for everyone watching at home for our day four at VBS. We're so excited for what you're going to show us today and, what, and that we're going to learn that trusting you is what makes us stand strong and that we can stand strong with you because you are strong and mighty, just like a lion. We're so excited for what you're going to show us today and I pray that everyone has a great day. In your precious son's name I pray, amen. Alrighty, so here is another craft. This is our day four craft and all you're gonna need is a piece of paper, markers, and a pair of scissors. And here I am just gonna fold, let's get that marker out of there. Gonna fold a piece of paper. Oh my goodness, a marker does not want to leave me alone. <laughs> so I'm just folding the piece of paper in half. And then I realize that I'm right-handed and I have to spin it around again. So because we're learning today that trusting God helps us to stand strong, we're going to draw a half cross shape. And again, you can make it as big as you want to. This is just the size that I'm making it, but it can be as big as you want. So that's the shape we're going to draw on our piece of paper. I'm going to get out my handy dandy orange scissors and we're going to cut it out. Yeah, take a minute to pause here if you need to. The live stream will begin again once you hit play, so no worries about pausing it and taking your time.
All right, so I have my cross all cut out, just unfolding it now to see it. If you want to get rid of the black lines that you kind of see, you can flip your cross over and it should be hidden. So now I'm taking my marker and I'm going to write our Bible buddy point for today that trusting God helps us to stand strong. Yeah, you can also take a minute now to pause to catch up and write that down if you want have a parent or an older sibling help you out. And this is also a fun time to use your coloring supplies to decorate your cross however you want to. I'm going to take my purple marker and draw a heart. Alright, and there's our day four reminder that trusting God helps us to stand strong. Voila! Are you ready? All right, here we go. All right, 
right, just stacking them up here. Here we go. You know the neat thing about a dime on the front is our queen. But you know, on the back, there's a sailing ship. Famous shield of sailing ship. It's called the Blue Ops. Still not too far from here. the greatest film in history. Back to work. Time for the stunt in the dungeon. The dungeon? Don't worry. It's been ages since anyone died in the dungeon. d died But we can't film, I, I mean film, without Donna. She's the star. Bah, this happens all the time. Voila. Movie magic. I'm only doing this because you begged me to come back. Stoke the fire? Cue the rats. We film the dungeon scene. Would some M&Ms make you feel better? Hmm. A dungeon filled with M&Ms might help. Okay. I'll bring some down to you. M&M's are coming. M&M's are coming. Oh, what's that? Oh. Hurry, before everyone else gets here. Can't we just say, uh, finders keepers? Ow! 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 Oh, ow. They're still stealing stuff. But what can I do? I'm one little chipmunk. But God is bigger than they are, and God has never let me down. I'm just gonna trust God. Put that stuff down. Okay. Hunter, pick those up. Uh, okay. Put it down. Won't someone make up my mind? Get the chipmunk, Hunter. Uh, um, um, can't we talk about this? Sorry, Candace made up my mind. I, I took care of him? Ugh. <sighs> Be strong. God is with me. Oh, I wish I could see him. I wish I could see anything. Hello? Hello? An echo? An echo? <laughs> Buffalo? Buffalo. Jello? Jello. <laughs> Will this be the biggest and final stunt of Chatter's career? Who can keep Candace and Hunter from stealing castle treasures? Will Fabulo ever come out of his trailer? The answers await in the next king-sized adventure on Chatter's Kingdom Quest. Welcome back to day four of Epic Bible Adventures. Today, we're going to explore the most important Bible story of all time, and it features the most important person of all time. 
Jesus. But before we dive in, let's see what happened a week before today's story. A week before today's story begins, Jesus had entered Jerusalem in a sort of parade. People were so excited he was coming that they stood on both sides of the road, shouting and cheering for him. The people thought Jesus was coming to be their earthly king. They thought he would defeat the Romans, and then the Jews would be free to rule themselves. They were so excited. They laid palm tree branches on the road in front of his donkey as he passed as a way to honor him. And all the people shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. But just one short week later, things had changed dramatically. Our story begins with the Jewish leaders who didn't like Jesus. They were afraid that he would take power away from them. So they decided to get rid of him. They told lies about him and turned people against him. Then they decided to arrest him, even though he had never done anything wrong, not even once. And after they arrested him, they sentenced him to death by hanging on a cross for hours. Remember how just a week ago, the crowds had shouted, Hosanna for Jesus? Now they were shouting something completely different. They shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! And instead of a king's crown, they made him wear a crown of thorns. The thorns cut into his head, and it was very, very painful. They even used great big nails to nail Jesus' hands and feet to the cross. Jesus hung on the cross for hours and hours. It was a terrible, painful way to die. It was how they killed criminals. But this was Jesus. He wasn't a criminal. In fact, he never did anything wrong. He never sinned. That means he never did anything wrong, not even once. I certainly can't say that, and neither can you. Jesus never sinned, but he was willing to die on the cross because he knew that we would all sin. When we sin, we hurt other people, and we hurt God too. The bad things we do separate us from our holy God. Think of something you've done wrong recently. Maybe you've lied to your parents or hit your brother or sister. Take a minute to talk to your families about one bad thing you've done. The Bible tells us it's good to confess our sins. We all sin, and we can't undo our sins. We can't get rid of them. That's why Jesus was willing to go through all that pain on the cross. Because when Jesus died on the cross, he paid the price and took the punishment for our sins. Jesus loves us so much that he was willing to die and pay the price for your sins. Think about that sin you talk to your family about, and think of how Jesus took that sin to the cross with him because he loves you. But Jesus paid the price for us so we can be close to God. When we believe in Jesus, we can live with him forever in heaven. That's how much he loves us. After Jesus died on the cross, his friends took his body and laid it in a stone tomb kind of like a cave. It was very dark in there too. They wrapped Jesus' body in cloth and laid it on a slab of stone, kind of like this. On the third day after Jesus died, some of Jesus' friends came to the tomb to put spices on his body. But when they got there early in the morning, they got a huge surprise. Jesus' body was gone. He had come back to life. He was alive. In fact, he is alive. And we know that one day he's coming back and everyone who believes in Jesus can live with him forever in heaven. That's awesome news and it's worth celebrating. Our key verse says, Trust in the Lord always, for the Lord God is the eternal rock. Isaiah 26, 4. Jesus trusted God's plan and trusting God helps us stand strong. We hope you had a fun time here at day four of Kingdom Rock VBS. We can't wait to see you here tomorrow. And tomorrow's our last day. Can you believe it? This week went by so fast. It went fast, right, Mac? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Man, we're so glad to have you here. Thanks for joining in with us. We are so excited to learn about God and how we can stand strong for Him. And you know what? Trusting God through any kind of situation is such a comfort. Am I right? <laughs> So today we learned that trusting God helps us to stand strong. So let's stand strong and stand on up and let's sing a song.
Welcome back everyone. In yesterday's poll, we asked, you can order whatever you want from the King's Kitchen. Would you order the world's largest pizza or ice cream sundae? And you guys voted for the world's largest ice cream sundae. Today's question is, imagine you're a creature in the castle moat. Would you be a rainbow trout or an alligator. You can vote for what you would do on our Facebook poll. The link will be in the description down below. Before we head out for today, I'm going to pray. Dear Lord God, thank you for an awesome day for VBS and thank you for what we learned today that trusting you no matter what helps us to stand strong. Thank you for how strong you are and how mighty you are and that we can come to you through any situation, good or bad, happy or sad. We're so thankful, Lord God, and we just pray that we have a great day today and that we'll see everyone here back for day five. In your precious son's name I pray, amen. See you for our finale day.